Okay, so I'm back here, Robert, once again. Okay, in this video, I will be covering the type of software you should use, a camera versus screen capture, when you guys are ready to film your course. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get started. You should be able to see my pointer on screen. Okay, so when you guys are ready to film, it always depends on what type of course you guys are actually doing. If you're doing something similar to what I do, everything is on a computer, everything is done with screen capture. So if you're watching my complete course, everything is filmed with Camtasia software and with my computer, with my mouse and audio. That's pretty much it. I don't use any lighting, I don't do, uh, you don't see me on camera, nothing. So that's called screen capture. I'm sure you guys are aware of that. Now, for the people who have a lot of experience, I understand that a lot of you do and you already know this stuff but you're still watching and you're still trying to figure out the best tips and tricks for creating a course but we have to talk about pretty much everything because, because always keep in mind people always ask me why do you talk about basic things because we have people that are brand new and have never even really experienced screen capture and there's tons of you I mean I still get questions all the time is how do you do screen capture Okay, so that's why we're going over some of the basics. Okay, so screen capture, not everybody knows about it, and that's what I use. And the best thing to, or the best way to do it, is with Camtasia. And in, in this course, you're going to see exactly how I do that. Okay, so moving along here, when should you use your camera or like a GoPro camera and a gimbal? It depends on what you're filming. If you're filming something like outside or you're doing a project something that you you specialize in and you want to do a course on it let me see if i can just think out of the blue here what could it be where somebody could make a an, an awesome course and like uh how to do some type of something create something i can't even think it just let's just say create something outside in your backyard like you're building a custom bar you know what's the your you know what kind of materials you're going to use and all that and then you're going to have probably 20 videos on the whole entire course that would be done with a camera and most likely everybody's using a GoPro style action type camera okay you can't use screen capture screen capture only films your screen on your computer okay so that's the difference now if you're using a camera or a GoPro and you're doing that type of setup always know and you should know because you probably have experience with it you can either edit the videos right on your phone and immediately immediately upload them to youtube and turn in them turn them into unlisted videos so you can put those right into your course lesson pages that's what you basically want to to do it's easy so always keep in mind the videos are always stored the way we do it inside youtube under unlisted nobody can see them and then we protect all the pages on our course okay so it's not like we're trying to protect some kind of gold it's just a video so there's no reason to spend money and purchase some software to protect it like to buy something that to make sure nobody can ever break into it there's no reason to do that okay i have basically thousands of videos now that i have filmed and they're all under youtube under unlisted Okay, so moving along here, we're gonna look at my screen here so you see where we're at. So you can vlog or you can do screen capture. The choice is yours, depends on what type of course you're actually building, okay? So it's either gonna be outside, you're gonna use GoPro, we already went over that. Inside is gonna be Camtasia software for editing and screen capture. So let's talk about that really quick. Like I said, you've already seen me do it and my whole course is, is with screen capture. Now, there's no lighting involved. It, we're just using the screen, and there's no reason for me to be on camera. I don't want to be on camera, especially when I am doing screen capture. I just get in the way. Like, if I was on camera here, I would have to move myself around, and then you basically do that with editing when you use Camtasia software. If you do want to put yourself on camera, you can, but you're going to have to get... Uh, I mean, if you want to keep it simple, don't be on camera. And if you do, you're going to have to edit in, edit out, and then you're going to see that it's going to take a lot longer to get your course done. 
and only do it if you really feel that you need to be on camera. People should be concentrating on what you're training, not about you. So sometimes, you know how we always say, it's not about you, it's about what we're trying to teach. You're trying to sell them something, unless it's a hair product software or, I mean, some kind of product for hair or makeup, then it's a different thing if, if you are somebody selling that type of thing. Okay, so moving along. So again, I get asked this question all the time. If you're doing screen capture, no camera needed. That's right, you don't need to be on camera. So if you're filming something, use your phone. Of course, if you're outside or inside your home and you're trying to show somebody something and you're trying to create a course out of it, of course, that's when you use your phone. Lighting, use a ring light. That's only when you're inside your office, inside your house or your studio, whatever you guys are, uh, most, you know, whatever you guys have, but most people would be filming in their house, their house studio. And that's, of course, when you have a camera pointing at you, then you would use lighting. But for screen capture, no lighting needed. That's why this is great. You know, you could do tons of courses fairly quick, super fast, no lighting needed, nothing. All you need is the next one, which is a Blue Yeti microphone. <clears throat> I mean, I have mine. I could go over all the settings on another video, but it's so easy to configure. They're only they're under a hundred a hundred dollars, uh, probably under eighty nine dollars. I mean, they're on Amazon everywhere. Okay, that's all I use. There's no reason to get the high tech microphone. There's no reason to have an arm like a a uh, like a DJ type arm where it sits in front of your face with the big screen. You don't need any of that. A lot of people get confused with that. I'm going to talk fairly quick about where my microphone is. If you see me on video, because I am on video all the time when I do promotion videos, you can see it. It's on my desk about 10 inches away from me. Sometimes you can't even see it. Depends how the camera is facing me. Okay, but uh, there's no, uh, there's no uh, little cover on it. I don't have any of that. I've tested it with the Blue Yeti microphone. If you put a dust cover over it, it doesn't sound as good. A lot of people use that to protect the microphone from things getting in it. It's really, it, there's nothing going to get in it if your office is clean. You know, it's just, there's nothing to worry about. So it's going to sound amazing with no cover on it. Okay, just you have to set your settings correct and you have to have a fairly decent computer for the microphone to sound good. Okay, so if you look at some of my older videos, I've used pretty much all kinds of different kind of microphones. I used to use the the clip-on mics, the what do you call those lapels or you know, I think that's the name of it. And I had some good ones and I had some bad ones and you can tell them the voice goes in and out. Okay, so anyhow, uh, what do we use on screen? I always use PowerPoint. You can use PowerPoint or you can use Canva slides. I use both. I've been sticking more to Canva now cuz I don't like to go back and forth and have to do two things i try to you know I'm, I'm the kind of person who tries to do things simple you know fast get it out get it up for sale and sell it that's the main process that's what i do and that's what i teach okay so always try to learn canva it's pretty easy and you can become really good at it super easy there's tons of videos on it and i'll do a few myself so you guys can understand how easy canva is i create all my thumbnails on there everything so again Later on, you can upgrade and get all kinds of cool gear if you really film you need to do a full-blown studio. But when you're getting into selling stuff online, start small, start simple. Don't get all crazy with this because all you need is screen capture and that's going to cost you. Camtasia software should be like $199. That's it. And then a, a, a microphone that's $80. $80. That's going to be your Blue Yeti mic. <clears throat> That's it. That's all you guys need. And I use a trackball mouse, Logitech uh, mouse. That's all I use because it's easier to do what I do. Okay, so throughout the videos that you guys will be watching, you're going to see exactly how I use Camtasia software and how I get my courses up and running and start selling in days. Of course, you know, there's many things to learn to become a professional a course creator and, and to do what I do but if you follow the process and you start small there's no reason why you can't get your course out and selling fairly quick and then you can always add to it 
Somebody asked me that once. Are you still adding to your courses? Of course I am. In fact, that's what I'm doing now. I'm adding more videos to my own courses. Like I have a whole bunch, right? But the ones that I'm working on now, yes, there's three of them. And we're adding videos to those, to those and doing all kinds of things. Yeah, we update everything all the time. So, yes, they didn't start out big. They started out small and they do grow. Of course and then the more stuff you have in your course the more you can charge for it later and so forth okay so we'll get into all that good stuff later I just wanted to get this across to let you guys know what you should be using like you know it's always the question is Camtasia versus a camera or GoPro it depends on what you guys are doing so just choose whatever you guys are trying to teach and then you'll know which one you guys need if you're doing computer stuff it's going to be screen capture only and a mic and a mouse okay all right, so I will see you guys in the next video.